Okay, guys, so uh, you can use the jack stand method. This method, it doesn't require much height at all to uh, swap these blades out fairly quickly. And we're gonna do that. Here's the blades. These things should cut amazing compared to what's on there. They're pretty thick, I believe about an eighth inch thick blades. So we're gonna cut the straps, but let's get the old ones off first. We know the orientation already. We know where they go and how they go. So uh, we'll do uh, one side at a time. Uh, let's get the camera under there. Let's zip these off real quick. You know what guys, it wouldn't be me if I didn't show you guys the before and after and show you that I have been getting uneven cut grass. So before we take these blades off um, and swap them over, let's get a before and after. We're gonna do a line. I'm just gonna cut one straight line in the grass. It's about, today it's 90 some degrees outside, like 92 degrees outside, so it's burning hot. And um, we're just gonna get a one line cut with the new blades and one with the old side by side comparison. Um, uh, but it's super hot out here. So uh, let's back down. Let's go cut some grass and then come back. We'll talk these blades out. Um, by the way, if I didn't say so, there's five eight inch to remove those nuts. It's five eight inch, so we're gonna use an impact to remove them. And a vintage torque wrench to torque them down. Also, we'll use some vice grips to lock the blades in place so they won't move when we torque them. Guys, did you hear how horrible the tractor sound when I engaged those blades? They sounded awful, awful. The machine trembles and rattles, and it's because of those blades. When I install those new blades, you guys are going to hear a significant difference. It's a very smooth transition when you um, disengage or engage the PTO. It's amazing how big of a difference these blade swaps were. So uh, let's get to swapping those blades out right now. I made the straight line in the grass. We'll make another line parallel to that one when we chop the blades out, and I'll talk about that in a second. So I cut two and a half inches. That's the height on the deck. Everything on the deck is perfect. Ain't there's no hanging rods or anything the dent's sitting even i'll show you guys that in a second but look you can see how i got that heel right here look that line got that one line that ain't getting cut so i have to keep going over that throughout the entire yard got that one line look at the line we got a mohawk <laughs> there's a mohawk in the yard so like I say it's super hot out here, guys. But this is the before line. Let's go swap these blades out and see the after. Let's make sure our ride height is to the top. Raise the deck all the way up. And we got ample enough space, even with these small ramps. Uh, even with the jack stands to um, remove this, uh, these blades. So we're going to do one side at a time. Get the camera mounted. Here's the old blade. Notice the orientation of it. Remember the curved part faces up. You can see the blade, the tip of the blade there. So the curvature part faces up. Just goes up just like so. So I'll angle it in the same direction the other blade is in uh, to keep them some symmetry going. But also, you can, before removing them, uh, and I'll do the other side, you can kind of 
give the blade a tug to see if there's some play in the spindle or that shaft. And uh, this is perfectly fine. I already done uh, that a couple days ago. But I'll show you guys. You can just give it a, a tug to see if there's some movement or if it sits firm on that shaft or if the shaft is fine. So that also give you an indication that you may have a, a bigger problem than the blades. But yeah, we're going to drill this up. Uh, same orientation. So I'm just going to leave the camera underneath and I'll show you how it's filming it. Installed on both blades. Alright guys, we're done. Um, it's about 4.30 in the evening and the deflector has not arrived yet so that'll be in another video. Just a quick change, there's a 916 nut here that has to be removed. We'll have a better view when we're done. So just to remove this rod and lift this up out of here. Remove this rod out of here, just remove that 916 uh, nut. Uh, but there's the blades. We're looking good, we're looking good. Uh, this thing should cut amazing. So I'm gonna let it sit for an hour before I get out here and cut, let that thread locker sit up and uh, cure for about an hour before we go to cutting. Uh, like I said, it's about 90, uh, it's about 91 degrees still right now and 4.30 in the evening. So I'll clean up, here's the old blades. They were shot, shot. So how can I expect to get an even cut grass or even a good shave grass uh, with these things. So these are going to the metal scrap pile. Let me show you guys. The thread locker I was using. And I also talked them to uh, 55 foot pounds. Right around 55 to 60 foot pounds. I don't want to go uh, to the max with it. I don't want that bolt to break off. So uh, this is what I use. Notice this is the high strength, but it's also removable. That's important. This is removable. It creates a high strength bond between that bolt and that spindle or that shaft. Um, however, you can remove it. So, I want to get some removable high strength thread locker because those things are vibrating and rotating uh, under extreme forces. And you want to make sure 
Uh, they don't vibrate or work their way loose from out of those sh shafts. And um, that'll be it. So next video, the deflector, and uh, pretty much we're good for the rest of the summer, hopefully. I said everything is pretty much in order with this thing. Everything works perfect. Everything is pretty much clear. Everything is all good. The next thing we do after it dries, we're gonna get out and get a uh, cut parallel to the line. We just cut in the grass to see the difference between the uh, new blades against the old blades. Of course, it's gonna be a difference, but how big of a difference, we're gonna find out shortly. Okay, guys, it's been a little over an hour. Um, we're good to go. We're gonna start this thing up and go do a test mow and see uh, the difference. Also, I wanna note, uh, you see the choke is missing. It's right here. I bought the cable, they sent me the wrong one. So I'm using what I got until they send the other one. It was on the back order. I already paid for it, so just waiting on them to send it. This one's working fine. It's just too short. It won't fit this one. So I'm replacing that as well. Um, yeah, let's start this thing. Okay guys, not only does it cut way better with the old blades, what I didn't explain was when you do engage the blades, when you uh, engage the blades, the machine rattle and it it's it vibrates a lot. It was vibrating a lot. And when you shut it down, it shakes, it, tr it trembles pretty badly. It, it shakes pretty badly. Um, maybe because both blades were shot and they were kind of unbalanced. This thing transitions so smooth when you turn it on now. It's a smooth transition. When you engage the blades and when you shut it off, it's just a very, very smooth transition. Huge big difference on that. And of course, uh, we're getting uh, super evenly cut grass. I went on both sides. Uh, as you can see, the mohawk uh, there. And you can see how uh, the other line is just a smooth transition. Despite me having uh, patches in the grass, I got to fix. But um, just a perfect mold grass and it's super hot out here so this stuff needs water you don't want to cut too low um, but trim this grass up pretty good so this is on a lower setting this is on a lower setting this uh, that's on a uh, two inches two and a half inches this is where the mohawk is and this is also on uh, two and a half it's super even Despite the patches there, I picked the wrong spot to cut, but um, very, very pleased with those blades. I mean, they're cutting effortlessly, and despite the grass not being that tall, still getting um, a very smooth ride more or running more now with the blades engaged. Yeah, this is too low. I don't, I won't cut the two inches because it's so hot out here. Um, uh, you want to burn the grass, so I'll keep it. A two and a half inches and trim this down real quick but uh, no more mohawks you can see right there the mohawk is gone and the more uh, runs significantly better with the blades engaged now not just a little bit guys it runs significantly better all right guys i'll finish cutting this up uh, gonna stop the video here 
Hope you guys found the video helpful. I'll be putting the deflector on tomorrow uh, when it arrives. It was late. Um, they sipped it to a wrong uh, location, but it's all good. Uh, things happen. But uh, once again, hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Terrence, I'm out.